Okay, we're going to identify the major chambers of the heart. I have a cardiac gated CT on a young patient here that shows some good anatomic detail. Uh, we'll start out with using a landmark external to the heart at the inferior margin of the screen. Here you can see a little bit of the vertebral body. The vertebral body is closest to the left atrium. So if you see a chamber, sometimes when you're presented in a case conference scenario with a unusual oblique projection, uh, you may see a little bit of the vertebral body and then see a chamber near it, and that's a good landmark to help you identify the left atrium. The pulmonary veins empty into the left atrium. We can see them on each side there, and we'll talk more about the left atrium in detail in the future. Uh, separating the left atrium from the other atrium is the interatrial septum, and that allows us to identify the right atrium on the right side of the heart. We can see that the IVC and SVC empty into the right atrium, and it is separated from the next chamber by the tricuspid valve. The next chamber is the right ventricle. Another landmark that you can use external to the heart to the identify the right ventricle is the sternum. The chamber that is closest to the sternum is the right ventricle. We'll talk more about the right ventricle in detail later. Uh, the right ventricle is separated from the next chamber by a muscular interventricular septum, and the next chamber is the left ventricle. We can see the left ventricle on the left side of the heart, separated from the left atrium by the mitral valve. So we've reviewed the four chambers of the heart, which we'll talk about in detail momentarily. Again, they are the left atrium, closest to the vertebral body, the right atrium, the right ventricle, which is just under the sternum, and the left ventricle, which has the thickest muscular wall.